Okay, so the topic of this short video is your sense of taste. So let's go ahead and get started. Well, first of all, I want to address kind of the myth that there are certain areas of the tongue that detect flavor. Well, you can dispel this myth very quickly by just trying this. You know, put something salty at the tip of your tongue. According to the map, you shouldn't be able to taste the saltiness. You should only be able to taste things that are sweet at the tip of your tongue. So we have the ability to sense all of these flavors all throughout our tongue. So this map that you see here is kind of outdated, although the tongue can detect five basic flavors, salty, sour, sweet, bitter, and umami, which is savory. Well, let's talk about more how your tongue works. Your tongue has thousands of tiny little bumps. You can see these bumps. These are not your taste buds. We'll get to those in a moment. These are known as papillae. And if we go ahead and zoom on into the tongue, we can actually see an individual papillae right here, one of those uh, individual bumps. And so where do the taste buds come in? Well, each of these papillae has dozens of taste buds. You can see I've just labeled them right there in the picture. And if we zoom on even further, we can see that every single taste bud is made up of a few dozen cells. And these cells are, are called the taste cells. Now these are chemoreceptors. These are the, the cells that detect the chemicals in the foods that we eat. So here again, every taste bud is made from several, about a dozen or so, what are called taste cells. And so the way we detect flavor is imagine you've just taken a bite of something, you're chewing it, and it's mixed into the saliva that's in your mouth. So molecules from your food will begin to break down and dissolve in your saliva. You know, also, you also have enzymes that can aid in the breaking down. And what happens is, well, you know, let me add some saliva to my animation here. And as we chew, the molecules in our food begin to dissolve. And they dissolve and actually will diffuse into those taste cells. The molecules from our food will dissolve and diffuse into the taste cells. And once that happens, the taste cells will generate an electrical impulse, an action potential. And the action potential, as we learned in, in another topic, will travel down cells through the nerves and eventually, in this case, the impulse or the action potential will travel up several of the what are called the cranial nerves, which lead directly into our brain. And this is how our brain then interprets the flavors in the foods that we are eating. So there you have it, a pretty quick video there on how we detect our how we detect various tastes. So go ahead and pause the video and you know try to answer these questions and if you're in my class I'm happy to check your answers before school or after school. Thanks for watching.